you're catching us three days before our show. I'm a wreck and I need to sleep, but I'm not aware of it when the clock hits two in the morning and I'm still here because I'm doing what I love. There's something I was always drawn to. I was always sketching people, especially women in clothes, on the borders of paper when I was supposed to be doing homework. When I realized that this was a, a career you could do, then I knew deep down inside that's what I wanted to do. Right now, we're just days away from presenting our Spring 2013 collection. By far our biggest collection, we have 30 looks, which, because we're doing a presentation, is 30 models, so that's just a crazy juggling act in and of itself. I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, in a very conservative, traditional school where that is definitely not a typical career path for a boy in Atlanta. I started obsessively reading every biography I could find about designers. Galliano, McQueen, I kept coming across Central St. Martins, Central St. Martins, Central St. Martins. So being in Atlanta with no idea of what Central St. Martins was, I just knew I want to be a fashion designer and I have to go to Central St. Martins if I'm going to do that. I describe it to people as a Hogwarts of fashion, kind of. My inspiration this season is kind of high priestess, dark but still ethereal, something kind of witchy about it. So I was drawn to these kind of irregular dark stones. We did a lot of jet, we did hematite, we did kind of smoky tones, we did reds. This season is my first time working with Swarovski. You know, with Swarovski elements and our embroiderers, we've come up with incredible textures and effects to add to these garments that really give them a richness that you don't often find in spring. Unlike a painting on a wall or, or a sculpture, a garment is just fabric when it's on a hanger. You know, it needs to be on a body walking down the street before it's finished. So I really try to keep in mind that someone has to put this on and fall in love with it. Jimmy.